Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of uh, the highest difficulty uh, Expert Expert Iron Man uh, the section locked and we are in Drumbuck uh, which is a great place uh, to start an adventure if you are a level 10 plus party that is. This shelter is the last stop before Mount Ernst and the mountain range that separates us from Edoran. Be careful if that's where you're headed. Travelers often lose their way around here. Interesting. I will not go further south. I'd sooner face the God of Light's judgment than that of the mountain. I went on a mission on Mount Ernst before. I lost three toes and two companions. Okay, the game is doing a great job in telling us it is super, super, super dangerous. Don't don't just go there make sure you're ready mount ernst haven we're unfortunately currently still being wanted and before going deeper two months uh, earnest i would like to lose the wanted status Good, here we are at Halborg. Interesting place. I'm warning you. If you're with the Inquisition, I won't even repair your boots. Apparently they hate the Inquisition here. Let me just forge that real quick because um, I think I think this will uh, allow us to spend another another knowledge point. I have way too many knowledge points and we have everything unlocked. And I was hoping we would get something out of it, but unfortunately that's not the case. I'm warning you. If you're with the Inquisition, I won't even repair your boots. Good. Getting rid of all of that. And unfortunately, this is not what I was hoping uh, to see. Let's see if we can get some uh, some rumors. No one can make me serve inquisitors, not even the prince. Influence gained. Yeah, that's not really what we are Why looking, you be looking for. for work? Cool, so this is what we're looking for. Uh, now we know where the tomb is. And yeah, so far we haven't found anything else. Uh, this is a bandit layer. Might be okay to do that. I was hoping for the boss of the region to show up. And since we wanted and I don't want to be caught. No one uh, can make me serve inquisitors. Not even the prince. Caught again. We're just going to rest here. Good. We need to lose wanted. And we need to find out how to do the quests here so far we are just seeing a lot of mountain mountainy areas I interest you in let's see where we can go um halborg stables i think we're going to go here which is called alasar laboratory so that might be their main city just trying to uh, really find our way around here at the moment. So we've decided to leave the mountain ridge for a moment. No, 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 please, no. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. 
Bears, however, drove us uh, right into the laboratory. Prince Erold asked me to translate an ancient text, but it's by far the most complicated I've had to study in my entire career. It seems to be some kind of instruction manual filled with technical terms. But I'm not hunting grutles. Dragons did exist. If she'd just let me explain. What if you went for me? I'll All right. do great things together. I've already listed the locations you need to inspect. Three caves where you stand the best chance of finding dragon bones. Explore the Great Growler Grotto in Artes, the Great Growler Cave in Grinmere, and the Fat Claw Cave in Ludern. Good. If I ever happen to go I there, I heard that a broker was murdered in Gosenberg. If I happen to go there, I will I search your I dragon do. bones. I was hoping we would actually find the city here, but apparently that's not the case. Oh, there we it go. It is here, between these walls, that the illustrious Sophie Adra Alazar bested the plague. Since then, we've been striving to walk in her footsteps. And improve her original cure. Thanks to Prince Erald Adra Alazar's unconditional support, we are now ready to take another step on the path of knowledge. Only one thing is still holding us back the Inquisition. We cannot take proper initiatives as long as they're in drawn back. Even our army is under watch. If any of our requests are even slightly out of the ordinary, no one can fulfill them. But. Perhaps mercenaries like you would be discreet enough to break a few religious precepts <laughs> as inconspicuously as possible. Is it a thirst for knowledge I see sparkling in your eyes? We need three live plague ridden. Okay, well, you will get your three live plague ridden. I wonder if don't torment yourself. Easy peasy, no problem. The earth's Okay, sounds easy enough. I still haven't lost the wanted status, which sucks a bit. But we will manage. So, plague ridden. Uh, these guys are up there, which means back into the mountains. I should have known that uh, the quest will be in the mountains. Might I interest you in my humble way? Always hoping that uh, some of these merchants do have upgrades. Gold is not a problem anymore. But unfortunately, I think they just don't have that. Okay, the Inquisitors I see are... Yes, lucky for you. I'm feeling magnanimous. What? So I will give you a chance to prove that you are... Which is the most important day of the year. Festival uh, of Light. Everyone knows that. Next question. Why is St. Giroux our guide? What? We should burn every... I see no need for further... Comment. Only fire can cleanse your souls. Well, it seems that they just didn't want to properly uh, negotiate. Uh, they were up for no good so time to uh, repay that got Roby Snow with us holding that one flank um, and yeah how about that Okay, so that's a good start. That's even better. Moving up, engage, disengage, 
Engage. Disengage into his belly. Engage. Disengage. Good. The Zealot definitely hurts. Uh, they are dealing a lot of damage. Good, let's start here. There we go, crit damage. And there's the kill I was uh, looking for. Moves up. And full Veiler. I want to test the new bear. Wow, two hits and the guy is he's almost lost his um, his guard. On the flip side the zealots are hitting often. <laughs> Good. Pull up. points of damage well level 13 enemies are hitting for a lot there's no doubt about that I ah, know we would hit our own In which case, all we do is that and a bit of healing. Done. Good. The numbers are just becoming larger. I gotta get used to that. Good. In the meantime, the slowdown works very well. Now, time to get these guys out of here. Done. Good. Moves up. Heals the stupid burn. Further weaken. There we go. Now we're through the guard. From now on, they are taking more damage. Remove the guard. 
destabilizing him. And let's get a little bit rid of him. Uh, in the meantime, slash, yes. Not perfect, but still good damage. Um, we are charging over here. And that triggers galvanization. End of turn. Hit, miss, hit, another hit, weaken, disengage. And we got repost, that's good. Hit, disengage. Flail to the face, done. Level 12 sword, hallowed strike. If the attack, uh, what will we do? Damages uh, to all units in the area. Is that a one handed sword? Mm -hmm. If the edX hits several units, it creates fire under them. Applies burning. That's actually a pretty damn good sword. I think I'll just keep that one. I'm not sure if the unique weapons are the best ones that you could get, because that's an AoE attack sword. And for me, it looks incredibly good. You've got Wish I could. Then it don't they were not ordinary. It's hard. She claims she's lying because she. All right. Uh, so here we do have ponies, level nine ponies, but we're okay. We have enough ponies. No point in getting more. <clears throat> what is the quest? Abduction. Find the bandits lurking on the road to Sophie Eider's uh, laboratory. So apparently there are a couple of bandits that we need to kill for this particular quest. Which, by the way, will be right down there. We can go there in a second. Uh, I don't like it. We might attract another patrol. Wait a second, is this a patrol? Yeah, well, let's get rid of our wanted status. Really don't want another overnight encounter. You are wanted for a number of crimes. Thank you for your contribution. Good. That makes it relatively easy for us to rest here. Very good. Regaining our strength. These bandits are the ones that we were talk uh, that they were talking about, potentially. You're a bit skinny, but you'll do. Level fourteen. Oh boy. 
we're really getting the short end of the stick here. Lots of ultra high level enemies. I thought level 12 is the maximum level, but I might have been wrong. All right, everybody, you need to be orderly. I am kidding, you know, these guys are having 500 armor. And even though I'm hitting him for way more, he still has a lot of armor. Holy. Okay, we gotta be careful. The fact that they are red, as in absolutely over our level, means we have to be extra, extra, extra careful. Could move to here. And then push them into this direction. Yep, helpful. Taking that guy out and we're going to engage the other one in a second. Yeah, well, the level 12 uh, polar bear keeps up with the damage. These guys here are something else. going to use our fury for that just stay here this guy has taken a lot of damage already okay come on Let's weaken him. There we go. Solid hit. And we're moving over here. That way he can't hit us both with his axe. At least I think that is the case. Okay. Whew. Well, move to here, teach him a valuable lesson.
marking him and position ourselves here. I need Valor, a lot of it. And whilst we can't AoE attack this round, Jim will still be fine to deal some damage. For starters, this year will give us two Valor. Should at least. Somehow the spear isn't fully working, isn't Mark of Narciss, when uh, this uh, is consumed, the attacker executes an attack of opportunity. Ah, okay. Mark of Horin, which is the other one where this is consumed, the attacker generates two Valor points. Okay. that got rid of the guard which is important most little details can change a bit because now the entire damage completely goes through which is nice and we're getting brutality for next round as well all right cool well they might be stronger individually but with the right tactics you can actually get them Re enemy reinforcements? What? Oh no. Oh no. Trying to slow them down, mainly. And create a bit of a bastion here. Okay, let's start. These guys deal a lot of damage, but they can't really take a lot of damage. Bring ourselves up to here. Tell you one thing. More orderly, always good. Hundred twenty six points of damage. Yeah, we got to deal with the archers ASAP. back the other one is too far away we would expose ourselves just too much well that even helped us thank you I 
think that's a good enough setup. And Sprint is just a godsend ability. So good. Can go in and out. With very limited uh, repercussions from their side. Okay. The archers are not strong enough to withstand our melee ambush. There we go. If we can get rid of them, we're actually fine. Good hit. Almost a kill. And I think that was the last of their archers. Fantastic hit. Unfortunately, can't do much more because it would be a waste to use um, to use Valor for a single hit. But next round we can. Let him come, and then it's a triple hit. That will be funny. good that's the setup that I wanted 400 points of damage these two are now clustered together these three are now clustered together let's go to here Like I said, he's doing okay damage. It's not outstanding, but it's definitely okay. It's here. Crits him. And finishes him. Alright. In and out. Done. I tell you what. We're actually going to here. Need to get rid of his guard. Hit and hit. And I think we're okay.
No, I mean, we can't heal the bear. Good. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Oh, wonderful. Takes a lot of hits, but gets the job done. Bear is stealing an insane amount of damage. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, we got galvanizing. Enemies four levels above us are crumbling. They have better stats. They very likely have better gear than we do. But they do not have a better tactic. I like it. I'm moderately proud of uh, the of this particular fight cool well level 12 shield Heater shield damage taken of shooting attacks reduced by 90%. Yeah, that's not that helpful for us. Bennets are running away. Follow them to their hideout. I personally thought we had killed all of them. Okay, if this is yet another fight, then we got to be a bit careful here. You shouldn't have followed us here. Tch. Enemy reinforcements. All right. Uh yeah, I think we're still going to do this episode. All right, time to do the fight. Another level 14 bandit. Well, I hope they are at least going to drop really good loot. Should have maybe um, used our our camp in order to get more experience and better loot but yeah too late now good let's make sure that we're actually not fighting at too many fronts at once um Bear down, uh, down here, not a problem. Um, Miss Grell could move up and bind them. 
Alternatively, we are alternatively we're using Dilly to come up here. Or Enders, nah, we need Enders up here. Tell you what, Delhi could be down here, isn't the worst, specifically if we have a bear. Okay, so, could I? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Oh, that's a good one. That's a fantastic uh, one. Because I would hit everybody with orderly and we're starting with low, with low amounts of points. So might as well use, uh, use that to our advantage. Moving in. Destabilizing the poucher. Disengaging. Starting to weaken him. Disengaging. There we go. Continue to hit. Disengaging. And that's the kill, which neatly brings us to here. All right, they are clustering up, which is good because uh, clustered up, we can uh, more easily dispatch them. Moving to here, we are orderly, so every Everything should uh, give more valor. Wow. Once these tanks are, are getting orderly, they are filling the bar. Look at that. Holy shit. Nice. Well, already found out uh, that it's almost all about uh, the DPS here. Good. Starting. Triplet hit. Back, back. Unfortunately, this guy is not being shot back. And even more unfortunate. Yeah, this is better. I was about to say, it seems like we're not getting uh, him back. But luckily, we scored a crit and we hide behind Roby Snow. Wow. He just took 200 points of damage. Nice. Polly, I think this could be a kill. <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. I'm pretty certain this could be a kill. Fabulous. Um, unfortunately, we can't really hit without hitting our colleagues. That's a bummer. In which case, we're resorting to tried and true tactics. Just using our assassin.
All right, weakening him. The extra damage alone, just from all of the skills, is quite impressive. Like, we're healing. And it's still 50 points of damage. Preparation for next round. I don't want to be engaged with him. So we're actually moving to here. That will allow us next round to go all in and hopefully hit uh, three or four with a whirlwind. So far, I must say the Harpenier isn't bad either. Not a hundred percent sold. Not a hundred percent sold on the build so far. Good, that hodlum is going to be taken uh, taken completely out. He will not reach the fight any anytime soon. a lot of damage I mean they're hitting for 270 which is quite a bit as well but boy that was a lot of damage good enemies have appeared from up here and here and there and there I would say, um, how about pushing you back? Thank you. Moving in. And time to hit uh, the enemy DPS. We're continuing to move up. Get Valor, everything good. Good, we're being engaged, fair enough. He could move up and then we can whirlwind. bad let's clear the dps out over here one two three four five good hits Ah, bear! Oh wow, barely out of uh, the explosion range, or the uh, mm, the range where where that falls down. I think that's a lot of damage if we get hit. And they just have a lot of hit points. Damn it! Um, you know what? Moving up here. Want to make sure that we kill kill the archer. Should have, by the way, waited with a destabilizing strike. 
because we have another wrong door here and I think I can kill the archer. Well, maybe I can't. Maybe I need all of the strikes. Good, moving slightly bit back just to keep a tight formation. Uh, that's a lot of damage. And finally they group up. Good. That's what I've been looking for. Wow, 300... That's, that's a lot of damage. Good, so the trick is I need to find three plus targets and then we're Gucci. As long as we can do that, we're actually on, on the safe side. Fragility. And a little bit of damage. Okay. Well. Time to clean up this mess down here. And to be honest, this criminal here needs needs to die. Should have fully focused on him. He will likely die from uh, the stones that are going to fall down. Alright, so let's move back just into safety and let these guys be crushed by stones. Fortunately JP takes a little bit of damage in return. Very solid hit. And whilst we're at it, let's make sure that none of these two guys are going to interrupt us anytime soon. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill this guy and then move upwards to close the flank. Or in that case, move downwards, because we would need some extra help over here. Oh. 890 points of damage. Uh, okay. I guess the lesson that we can take from that, kids, is you don't want to be crushed by stones. Tanks are starting to to actually pull the weight quite a bit. Repost is such a strong skill. Good, let's do the same deal here with the wrong door.
You know what? Let let him just stay there. Good, move up. Kill this guy. Uh, heal our friend. Double hit. Taunt. Double hit. Sprint. Double hit, and it just adds up, right? I mean, this guy has taken 150 points of damage just for standing there, effectively. Let's attack first. I think this might even kill him. Oh yeah. Easy. Single target damage is actually quite good uh, for him. Finally, galvanizing strikes. Push him a bit further towards our friends. Move up, intimidating growl, and Roby goes to town. One, two, three. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We just had 500 points of damage. Bear, uh, those uh, polar bears are no pushover once they get into complete berserker mode it's game over and yeah, unfortunately the loot wasn't that great mercenaries you're here you must help me bandits fell upon my husband and you've killed them what about my husband? Where is he? Well, if I was to take a guess, I would say in the frying pan. No! 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 Thank you. I knew those barbarians weren't bandits. Thank you for putting an end to I them. can give you this as a token of my gratitude. My husband was a close cousin of Prince Erald. I trust the castle will send someone to retrieve his body. Hmm, well, that sucks, I'm sorry to hear that. Bribe skill, uh, we already have one of those. Uh, appears to be an interesting concept, but we haven't really used it so far. Experience gained after an ambush increased by 20%. Traveler Sue, I like that. I would like it even more if we could... Uh, make it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Mushrooms, milk, and human remains. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this game is uh, is uh, taking a very light uh, touch on uh, cannibalism. Apparently, everybody in this world is a okay with it. Okay, Whew. well, that was a long and gruesome journey, but I think um, it's a good point uh, to uh, break it here. Go back to town, um, reevaluate what we want, uh, what we want to do. Still on the fence. Couple of things uh, that. Uh, irk me out. Number one, I 
I'm not sure if this Marco Faroon plus um, Narsus bow combination is really worth the effort. We do have a bow that deals this much damage and effectively uh, forces uh, an animal companion to do an attack of opportunity, which if you think about it, uh, almost deals more damage if uh, the polar bear gets going, things are being torn apart. So. I think that's not a that's not bad. Uh, on the other hand, we would have another legendary pike that allows us to automatically disengage, uh, and that might even be better. So far, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, um, I can give it some more tries, and we're just playing with a halberdier spec for now. I will adjust this spec a bit. I don't think that we will need Bulwark as much. Although, Fury sticks up as well. I was just thinking if we could uh, put this one here in. Each time a unit engages, they gain repost, which means if they take a strike, um, they can actually counter strike quite a bit. So that counterattack isn't bad at all. We don't have anything equivalent here. Yeah. Could turn her more into a duelist with counterattack each time the unit engages, they gain repost. That's not bad, but I also uh, value the Bulwark because that allows us to also stack Fury. So uh, that's a huge damage buff. And since we're uh, engaging, disengaging, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll leave it as is for now. I can see the advantages of both sides. Um, other than that, Jim, uh, JP Pauli's build is super. Jim's is yeah okay uh, i almost like the harper near a tiny bit better uh, and i need to get uh, aim on ender senders just to have one more usable skill rest is good i think we're we're doing reasonably well one could make an argument that uh, precision here with the extra uh, attacks that apply vulnerability could be even better than reinforced arrows with the bleeding because it allows uh, to deal 50% more damage always and not just for the one uh, skill of Ender Senders. On the other hand, bleeding for high hit point targets isn't bad either. So yeah, not, not completely uh, sure which way to go yet. Anyways, if you have ideas about the builds, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, snipe the like button like there is no tomorrow and see you soon. Bye-bye.